All right, this is page three of Geometry Written Around Competition Two. What is the sum of the interior angles of an octagon? Well, the equation for the sum of an interior angle is going to be one, 100, okay, really, I do want the pen here, 180 times n minus two. So for example, if, if triangle, three minus two is one, one times 180, so you have 180 degrees in a triangle. For square, two, four minus two is two, two times 180 is 360, so that makes sense, right? Okay, so an octagon has eight, so we get 180 times six, because six minus two is, sorry, eight minus two is six, so we get 1080. The ratio of the measures of two supplementary angles is 4 to 5. The smaller, uh, so we know, okay. That is an interesting question. Okay, so we have two angles that are supplementary by a ratio of three, 4 to 5. So in other words, supplementary means together they equal 90, they have a sum of 90. The angles have a ratio of four to five. That means that we have a 40, 50 uh, degree angle measurements for these. So in other words, if I were to draw it, this is gonna be 50, this is gonna be 40. All right, the measure of the smaller angle is decreased by 20%. So 20% is one fifth, right? So 20%. So what is what percent must the larger angle be increased by so the two angles remain supplementary? So that means that 40 times uh, 4 fifths. So we have 40 times 4 fifths. So that's going to be 9. No, that's not 9. That's 8. Thank you very much, I teach math. So eight times four is 32. So now the new angle measurement is 32. So that means this angle is gonna have to be 90 minus 32, which is gonna be 58. So the question is, what percent? Uh, so, so we have 58 this is a new angle, my old angle is 50. So let's reduce this, right? Or let's see, see, by what percent? Okay, so we have eight, because it needs to be eight degrees larger than the original. So I'm gonna cheat here, because I'm tired of making videos. So it's 16%. So it must be 16% larger. That's just the, uh, you just go ahead and divide it out. All right, nine. What is the degree measure of one interior angle of a regular decagon? Now a decagon means 10. So that means using my formula that I used previously, we have 180 times 10 minus two. So 180 times eight. has a total of 140, 1,440 degrees, but we want one to measure it, and there are 10 total angles, so I'm gonna divide that by 10, so I get a grand total of 144. Oh, moving on. What is the sum of the measures of the interior angle of a decagon? Well, too bad we didn't flip it. We just figured that out. Find the sum of the complementary and the supplementary of an angle who's, okay. So supplementary means they add up to 90, supplement. Oh, crap. All right, so complementary means that they add up to 90. Supplementary means they add up to 180. Yes, I realize I just, just made an error up here. So I'll go back and do that problem. I am sorry. So, um, so we do 90 minus 23. 
That's what happens when you go too fast. Now I'm embarrassed, right? So that's eight, so like six, so we've 67. So 180 minus 23, seven, five, one. Let's add them together. So 224. All right, going back to the original problem that I screwed up on. All right, so two supplementary, which means they add up to 180. Um, all right, measure of the smallest, decrease by 20%. All right, so let's figure that out. So I'm still not off on my 40 and 50 thing, only I'm going to have to use a multiplier of 2. So we have 80 and 100, right? So we know we have 80 and 100, because that fits the 4 to 5 ratio. And so we are decreasing this by 20%, so I'm going to uh, multiply it by 4 fifths to find the, what's remaining. 5 goes into this 1, 16 times, 16 times 1 uh, times 4 is going to be 24, so it's 64. So we have seen a decrease of 16, have we not? Okay, 16, is okay. So we need this to increase by 16. So that is really funny. Huh. So it needs to increase by 16% still. Huh, I stay, uh, that's really kind of cool. All right, 16 over 100 is obviously 16, or 16%. All right, what is the distance between the points? All right, so these distance things. This is just Pythagorean theorem reloaded. What I like to tell kids is let's make a grid, and I'm gonna put a point at the approximate value of 3 comma 8 and 4 comma negative 10. And then I'm going to connect them. But I'm also going to make a right triangle out of it. Well, the distance from 3 to 4 is 1. The distance from negative 10 to 8 is going to be 18. So this just turns into a Pythagorean theorem problem. a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So we have 1 squared plus 18 squared is equal to c squared. Uh, 18 squared is going to be, three, so we have 325 is equal to c squared, simplest radical form. Well, I know that 25 goes into this, so square root of 25 times the square root of. Now, I know you don't have a calculator uh, in your comp. <coughs> I know you don't have a calculator in your competitions, but I've been doing this for a while. My kids are running amok. Sorry, Campbell, if you ever watch this. You're actually not running amok. Um, and I kind of feel like I need to get back to the Thanksgiving vacation theme here. So 65, so does a perfect square go into 65? Well, I know four does not, nine does not. Um, well, it has to be an odd, right? So five, 25 does not, seven, 49 does not. So there is no perfect square here. So I'm just left with five times the square root of 65. And that's it. Now, the next problem is basically the same idea. So we have negative 4 comma 6. We have 3 comma negative 7. So this is a difference of 7. This is a difference of 13. Same process. So 49 plus 169 is equal to 
to 18. So it is the perfect square going to go into that? Four? No. Um, five, 25? No. How about nine? Not so much. How about 49? No. Nope. Uh, Shazan 81. No, I, I, I think we're done, quite frankly, here, because 121 does not go into that. So it is the square root of 218. All right, the midpoint. Now, the midpoint. The midpoint is uh, it's really just the average. Of the two points, right? So if I have 17, and I'm going to add to it negative 12, I'm going to divide it by 2. So 17 plus negative 12 is going to have a grand total of 5. 5 over 2 is equal to 2.5 or 2 and 1 half. Now it doesn't specify how they want you to uh, label it or how th what form they want the answer to be given, so you can give it an either. Find the length of the segment. Okay, I'm, this one we've gone over to problem 12. Oh boy, these last three problems take a little bit of time. All right, so there's 16 spaces. Points. You know what? I'm going to stop the video here and do these last three later.